BMW knows that this isn't the model to take any stylistic risks with, so the latest version retains a classic 3 series silhouette that is both elegant and subtly aggressive. The grille is a lot larger than before but stops short of being offensive. The standard LED headlights feature a lower notch that harks back to the E46 3 Series, and automatic high beams are now standard. Along the side, there are neat 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped in run-flat tires, while the M340i has 18-inch M double-spoke bicolor wheels. 19-inch alloys are on offer, but these can further firm up the ride, which is already quite harsh in standard form. Further setting apart the M340i are features like an aerodynamic kit, an M rear spoiler, and darker shadowline exterior trim. All versions have dual exhaust outlets, although these are larger on the M340i. A two-way power glass moonroof is standard across the lineup. Marginally longer and wider in its dimensions than the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, the latest 3 Series is a far cry from the more petite E30 and E36. Of course, this also means it's far less cramped inside than it once was. The length works out to 185.7 inches and the width is 81.4 inches, mirrors included, but the height varies between 56.4 and 57 inches depending on the model. All versions have a 112.2 inch wheelbase. The curb weight ranges from 3,560 pounds for the 330i RWD to 4,138 pounds for the 330 EX Drive. The 3 Series offers two smooth and potent gas-powered engines. The 330i features a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder that makes 255 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. The M340i pairs with a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six that produces 385 ponies and 369 pound-feet. The 330e plug-in hybrid combines a turbo 2.0-liter engine with an electric motor that together generate 288 horses and 310 pound-feet. Our first impression of the 330e revealed a harmonious relationship between the gas and electric elements, and we like the plug-in's new extra boost function that provides a burst of power that feels like a shot of nitrous. Each powertrain pairs with an exceptional 8-speed automatic transmission and standard rear-wheel drive. You can power all four wheels for a price. Unfortunately, a manual gearbox is no longer available. Purists should hold out for the all-new BMW M3 if they need the stick. Buyers can choose between two suspension setups on the three, the base arrangement or the upgrade with adaptive dampers. Our first drive of this G20 General 3 Series was encouraging. The car's newfound steering feel provides more road surface information and variable effort than its predecessor did, but it's still lacking compared with that of the three's iconic early generations. The four-cylinder Bimmer proved its worth by winning a comparison test against other sports sedans. We applauded its ability to transition from relaxed and refined to sharp and playful. The 330i also secured its spot at the top of its class by thwarting the gorgeous Alfa Romeo Giulia in a two-car Campara. Our long-term M340i further proves the nameplate's return to form, with its superb six-cylinder and remarkable body control. <laughs> Inside, the BMW 3 Series has a modernized design complete with excellent materials and impressive build quality. Nothing feels cheap inside the 3 Series, and its controls are well placed. BMW also improved outward visibility, and the standard sport seats are well bolstered and supportive, and they offer extensive adjustment so it's easy to get comfortable. The car's extra cost content includes a detailed head-up display, customizable ambient interior lighting, heated front and rear seats, remote start, and wireless charging. The BMW's digital instrument cluster is a bit cluttered but still attractive. Some may find the counterclockwise sweep of the tachometer needle odd at first, but you get acclimated to it quickly. 
The 3 Series has a big trunk with an available power-operated lid. With 17 cubic feet of cargo space, the gas-powered sedan can fit 6 carry-on suitcases back there and 17 total with the rear row folded. For comparison, the Mercedes-Benz C300 sedan held one fewer suitcase in both tests and the Alfa Romeo Giulia could fit 5 and 15, respectively. The 330E has less trunk space, 13 cubes, because of its battery pack, and we haven't tested its carry-on capacity. infotainment system runs through an 8.8 inch touchscreen but the interface can also be controlled with a large knob and buttons on the console or with voice commands the live cockpit plus suite of features which includes navigation is standard for the really good stuff you'll need to spring for the similarly named live cockpit pro package which increases the size of the touchscreen to 10.3 inches and gives you the latest and most capable iteration of bmw's iDrive system a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot is optional, but the sedan does come with two USB ports. Both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. One interesting option is BMW's gesture control, which allows the driver or passenger to input certain commands with hand gestures. It's more novel than helpful, but it'll wow your friends for a few minutes. <laughs>